YouTube channel. I'm Natsu here, and you're watching KG Min Tap Impact. <laughs> and let's rumble. Hey guys, do you like my catchphrase? Like, let's rumble. And. Have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. You guys oh, might see this. Who are this. you? What's going on? We asked you. Oh, you must be Adeptus. What is he talking Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the Elu- That was stupid of us. But all we- We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started- What? We no, 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 you, you must be messengers. You have to- I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Thank you. Thank you! Paimo was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but- he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Yeah, I know. So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in Amber somewhere on Mount Fuau, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for Amber on the way. Don't tell me I didn't yeah. turn him into a healing troll. Let's go from here. And oh, he is somewhere between here. <coughs> Found him. What okay, happened? Okay, that was fast. You rescued me. Oh, thank you. <coughs> oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. Phew. So he's safe then? Yes, oh. he is safe, buddy. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Or me, matter of fact. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. We're not. We're not. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. We're so not. it's a whole different story. Anyway. We have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Getting a message. Well, <laughs> it's super helpful if 
we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper <coughs> problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oof. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who Sorry. It's a bird. Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment at Wait, we had to fight him? Don't tell me we had to fight him. That is so <laughs> weird. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti, but your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! A sigil of permission. One was unaware that such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then. And thousands of speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. All right, thank you. You will be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? <clears throat> or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? All right. Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the... But now, alas... Rex Lapis. Gone. He's not gone. Traveler, okay. of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention. Hyman can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. <laughs> when stepped on, Excuse me. it produces amber to trap the invader. Man, I will. Sorry, I should sh shut up. Man. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things oh so the amber is alive correct thus one may not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence one will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter one trust all right so our next place might be where well, luckily again I will say it I did travel a lot so it's become a useful thing now
Alright. Well, that's good. Hey, who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... Hmm... <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. Okay. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. But what do Adepti we? even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky honey roast? Your idea is not cool. I don't think... <clears throat> Where should I go first? Let's go there. Maybe it's but the recipe. Footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. I've been so curious. I've been so. This one is fresh. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. <laughs> What are you? All right. Oh, so if I do it one more time, I can get the. Hmm. If I go one more time, maybe I can read the recipe. So let me do. Recipe and mm. 
Alright. here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Yeah, hey, look over there. They left some notes are, too. Yup. It's a doozy. Not really Paimon's not nice. surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. All right. Oh, I should make it. Hope I have the ingredients. Mm. Yeah, I do not have all the ingredients maybe if i go there maybe there is Here. All right, and let's go for the another one. and boom, done. Flower, though. Let's see what is this recipe. I'll race you there. No escape. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. See if I have one. Hmm, yes. I do have
Commander Warner. Alright, let me just get this. This will be nice. I'm not going to use leaves at this time. A wind, fire, ice, earth. <coughs> That's my dream. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. For a second I thought I was done for. Okay, how should I do it? Tate and the degree clockwards and the clockwork. Let's do clockwise. What will happen? <sighs> Look! That platform is moving! So that's what this button is for! And it 
counter conquest, yes. No. Uh, again. Conquest. Where do I have to go? Please be it, please be it, please be it. I guess this is it. box Alright this this but this one is a little bit hard to remember this this So far so good, I think. Now this is convenient. Alright. Finally, there's a freaking jump. Come on. Just got here. Okay. Clockwise, I think. Hope this works. Huh. 
This is a really, really long video. Huh. So I think I just need to fix this up, I guess. Get this and voila. Clockwise. Please be it, please be it. Okay. Mm they have floating plants as well. Please be it. Is this One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did oneself build. As did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's mm -hmm. just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Thank find you. it one that did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Alright. Hope this works. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. One shall have to... Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, Excuse me? what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say, but if Rex Lapis has indeed been murdered, then Liyue is in great peril. To delay in quashing the threat is to invite further disaster. It is precisely because one does not wish to see further suffering that exceptional measures are deemed necessary at this exceptional time. It's like you have a chance. Yes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! This seems like a problem. Like... It's, she's like when you have a dandruff in your hair and instead of <laughs> treating or something like that, you shave your freaking hair. Exactly what Paima was going to say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Liyue. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. 
Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and- And you didn't finish. All right, how my adventure point concluded? What? A lot of things can be achieved when your adventure rank improves. Like upgrading my stats. Let me show you. I'm at 50 and my sword is also at 50. But I need another sword to rank this up. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna end my video right here. Hope you guys like my video, and don't forget to like and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.